Hello and welcome to Access 2013 Tutorials. In this video I'm going to be talking you through combo boxes and data sheets. So if you want to play along, um, follow the link below the video to the download section of the website and download this, which is called Access 2013 DB35. Um, if you've been playing along all the way from the start, you're the best. Okay. Right. So what did we do in the last video? We created this query bookings extended and we were focusing on concatenating this field and it was a bit confusing uh, no it wasn't a bit confusing that's a lie but if you look at the uh, statement behind it that's a little bit confusing so you've got to be really careful and make sure everything's correct anyway enough of that what I'm interested in doing today is creating a data sheet from query bookings extended um, and I'm actually just going to do that straight away Clicking on it, I'm going to create more forms and data sheet. And we get that, which is pretty much exactly the same as the query. Right click and save it and call it form um, bookings extended DS. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, obviously, the biggest issue we've got with this data sheet form at the moment is the guest ID and the room ID because they're just IDs, not actual names we want to see. And as per usual, IDs are great for access, but bad for us. So we're going to drop this form into design view. And uh, we're going to, first we'll click on the label of guest and just change it to guest. And secondly, click on, click on the label of room and change it to room. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to change the combo box here uh, also change the text box to a combo box and you just click on it right click and go change to combo box and do the same with room id change the combo box so we're still if you go to data sheet view it's a combo box now we haven't given it or told it where we want it to get its information from and we're still only storing a number so back to design view so first thing first we click on guest id go to the property sheet if it's not there press f4 Go to data and we're going to get the values we want from um, table guests by clicking on row source and clicking on the three dots and add table guest there and we want guest id and because we've got first and last name for guests we're going to do a bit more concatenation by going well we're going to call it um, gu list otherwise known as guest And we're going to say last name, ampersand, uh, open quotation mark, comma, space, close quotation mark, ampersand, first name. Okay, and sort sending, run that. So you get a list of all the guests, last name first, first name last, in alphabet order. Save that. Okay, but still... If you go back there, we're still only showing the ID of the guest. We're not showing the um, actual name. So you have to go to Format, Column Count 2, and then let's say 1, 4 in Column Widths. So now when we click on it, you can see that we've got two fields. We've got the ID of the guest here, and we've got the guest name here. And um, what we want to do is get rid of this ID. We want the combo box to store it, which is really important, but we don't want to see it. So we're getting the best of both worlds then. Um, and the way we do that is just go back to the column widths and make the first column zero centimeters. So then we get that. And now, in fact, all of the guests were seeing their name rather than the uh, value of the ID. So that's the guests one and now we're going to do exactly the same with rooms so we can have another practice click on room ID we've already changed it to a combo box go to data go to row source click on the three dots and we want table rooms add we want room ID and room number sending we don't need to concatenate this time so we get that save and close and yet again we're still only going to have the numbers so in fact we don't actually need to drop this into design view click on here go to format column count two 
make the same point again, 1, 4 in column widths. So we've got the room ID and the room number. We don't want that, we just want to see the room number. So change the first column to 0 and now we get um, the room number. Okay, um, so that's the basic idea behind combo boxes and data sheets is that you store in the data sheet the ID of, or the, the foreign key ID you'd call that of the guest or in the, uh, and the room in this case. And then you use a combo box to actually get the information you want to see. Um, but one thing I will say that sort of comes up that is an obvious is if you click here on the guest, look how wide the combo box is. So you think, well, how do I change that? Well, you can go over here and say, well, okay, guest ID or oh, width. 19 let's change that to 10 no nope, staying at 19 okay um, and then you sort of bang your head a little bit and say what's going on well the reason is it's very simple if you go to design view it's because it's 19 centimeters wide here so you have to make this smaller and now that's about four centimeters so now we've made that smaller when we go back to data sheet view it's actually opening up uh, a reasonable width now okay so that's uh, combo boxes and data sheets. Just to recap, you're going to store the IDs, foreign IDs in a data sheet, and you're going to use combo boxes to get the information uh, that we want to see. Uh, always bearing in mind that the secret to databases is there's data that the, or in this case, access needs to store, which is sort of numbers, in this case, guest IDs, and there's information which we need to see, which is a guest name. Um, so yeah, that's the video. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in the next one.